Hello to anyone listening. Uh, this is a Dear Diary one, um, kind of, but also some possible corrections on um, the, the last video event, May 22nd. Um, I just had another sort of what I felt at the time was another major wave happening. Um, so what do I mean by this? Because I haven't been very specific about the feelings. And if I'm honest now, I can see that I just didn't quite know what it was. So I said to myself, well, you know, the event happening, I thought about being the fifth month and approaching the 22nd and made that conclusion that this is a wave event. And if I can describe it, it was like just stuff like firing through my head but because recently I've had the I've had the the one love stuff and one time in meditation I was able I felt like the one love come into my head and I can do that and I feel like I can channel and that sort of works but this was different, this was like the one love in my head but it was like a a galing wind or something and it was and it felt you know I didn't know what was going on and quite often in feelings in meditation get stuff and really don't know what's going on but what I got a sense of today was that um, what I was in a sense is being told off by God <laughs> because as I've recently just been discovering the one love we're in a symbiotic relationship with it and it kind of has a will and you know, you can't sort of, you know, the power of love is awesome. You can do so much with it, but you can't misuse the power of love because love has this will. So although it's up to you what you do with it, as soon as you try and do anything with the love that would break a loving law, or it would be against love, you know, it will get shut off. It won't work. Sorry, bit of a tangent there. Um, so because I've been discovering this and using this and I even said in my recent video you know God wants us to be independent well that was just wrong on so many levels like independent I mean for one we will always forever be in our mother and father God that we are contained within. I mean, Mother, Father, God is huge. And when I first felt this, it was this claustrophobic thing. But feeling with the heart, it's okay. And while I was having this event things, I, feel, I did get some heart palpitations, especially on the one earlier, because it was going on for so long. Because I was just staying with it. And I think the last time, you know, I probably, I did feel like I stayed with it throughout and it wasn't as long, it was maybe 10 minutes. And this one was like, I'm not quite sure, I think over half an hour. <coughs> but I'd sort of <coughs> getting, a, <coughs> getting a bit used to it, maybe not completely um, immersed in it because 
to be honest, you know, it was horrible. I'm honest. I mean, like I said, my heart was okay, but it was just horrible. And I think before I've had God telling me I'm wrong with a, with a, like an almighty pressure. I don't know if this was different because I've got the one love with me and maybe what because what I was thinking was if I've got the one love with me I'm infallible so I think God has shown me that that is not true but you see the funny thing is just before this I had the most amazing feeling and it did bring up feelings, thoughts of grandeur and it brought up all the first will be last stuff. But I also learnt that why me? Because at the beginning I was last. Anyway. Maybe that was just leading me into this <laughs> era because then I was like, I don't want to be first, I just want to be everyone be equal. I don't want to be first. <laughs> And we are equal, so that's cool, but maybe in the um, terms of, let's say, at the very, very beginning, four billion years ago, I mean, this is where I went with God earlier. And I haven't, I, I should finish making my point before I talk about something else. Sorry. This is something I do. I apologise. It must be thoroughly frustrating. <laughs> So, getting told off by God. Why? Because I thought I could be infallible with the one love. I thought I could be independent with the one love. I thought maybe I'd come to the point where I'd finished, in a sense, learning from God and now I was going to learn from another source. I even had that thought to learn from a higher source. So these are the, this is the sort of path I've been on for the last week or so. And God has shown me that's the wrong path. That I still very much need God, mother and father, to guide me. There's still much more to learn. And he even got the hint before making this video of... And, because I can see it's quite complicated, and I'm not ready to explain it yet, but new connections to God. Our mother and father. So that was the main thing. Now in terms of the event, and the information in the last video about there being something every month, um, for each pair of planets in the universe that I stand by. But me saying that feeling was a wave of the event, well, it's a learning experience, it's a necessary part, and just having another massive one today, tonight, and we're still in the fifth month, still in that window between the 28th and 21st, if that's the window. <laughs> I mean, fuck dates. I mean, in a sense, yeah, we want to know when things are going to happen, but then as soon as we do get some dates, it becomes all sort of, oh, got to wait a month until the next one, like waiting for something, you know, and that is, that's pointless, isn't it? You know, wait for it. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know why particular videos get a lot of views, I suppose. It's nice to sort of get out there because I do think... Well, from what I felt today, just before I had to, got told off, it was amazing. And I got to thank Dara your um, word 
simultaneous popped into the thought chain that kicked it off. So I, because I've been feeling the one love, and and I and I've been here before with the um, eat my flesh and drink my blood being a parable for have God in you and God and knowing that you're in God. But now that's changed to the one love within you and being in Mother, Father, God. So how dumb am I not to have even tried that? Why didn't I? Why was I thinking, oh, I'll learn a bit about this and I'll go off here. I, <laughs> I, I was thinking in a sense as well that why I was thinking this, that God wouldn't, you know, God's got other things he can be doing, you know, maybe if I don't, if I'm off here doing my thing and, and God can concentrate more on others, I mean, pfft, what a silly thought that is. What a silly thought that is. And that maybe comes from a bit of worthiness. I actually felt, uh, I probably haven't got very much unworthiness feelings with my heightened arrogance which will be being chipped away at um, gradually I guess and um, arrogance Worthiness, yeah. So I felt some of those feelings. Why would be? Why would we be worthy of what what we've got? An eternal existence. But I didn't have too much trouble with them. I'm just talking crap now. So, yes, event, yes, awakening. But that feeling that I thought was the event was a wave or something. I don't think it was now. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it seems a bit too soon after the last one to be a, a thing, and one thing I've noticed with God is um, never the same twice. And this was too similar to the one five days ago or something. It was too the same. So it was... Yeah, it didn't feel nice. It's like you're not getting the message. And then as soon as I did get the message, yeah, it just popped into my head that there's this other connection to God that sort of comes around and which I'm not going to explain yet. I mean, while I was having this feeling, and then it and then it felt like love was telling me off as well. It was just. Um, Yeah, it was, it was harsh. Well, not harsh. It wasn't harsh. It was just. Yeah, just. I mean, really interestingly, after I... <laughs> saying about the, um, the 22nd and the event and we're going to have justice... You know, 
really interesting, like on the BBC News, I think it was the next day, the next couple of days, loads of the news made up of this person has been sentenced, da 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 da. <coughs> and I've heard about a few of these recently, and I thought, you know, did the BBC just like bringing up negative stuff? But there's a lot of people being sentenced at the moment for crimes, and I think um, it may have been Friday night, 24th? No. That was just most of the news was like people being sentenced, justice being done. And then Harvey Weinstein, justice is coming, but handed himself into the police. He's going to plead not guilty, but let's hope the judges are just. So, yeah, so interestingly, getting a lot of justice and Weird, people seem to be agreeing with me. <laughs> Here I am, coming out and saying, uh, <laughs> it's like I can't stand people agreeing with me. Oh no, fuck that, it's got to be wrong, but no, good people agreeing with me. Good to have Dara back. You know. four-legged stool is much better than a three-legged stool. And a three-legged stool is way better than a two-legged stool. What's the day today? Saturday. Well, it's not by now. It's Sunday morning. So, so I keep saying so. to avoid awkward silences. So I was going to say about four billion years ago. And I've rightly stopped myself and finished my point, which took about 20 minutes. Four billion years ago, The earth was covered with water. It was a third of the size. And we had our first experience of a life. Whatever it was, some sort of crustacean or whatever. whatever. Or like a single cell thing. Maybe. Let's just say that. And they were all popping into life. Not all exactly at the same time. God wanted to witness each one of us have our first broom. So there would have been a first, and there would have been a last. And if I'm not making it up, I kind of saw that I was the last. And see, couldn't even see what was going on amongst the first. Look at the ones around me. Yeah, hey, I just popped up as well. <laughs> see what we've been talking about. Yeah. What's going on? Well, look, what are they doing? They're like moving and shit. What's moving? <laughs> By this time, only three of us 
sitting around not moving. I don't want to move. Do I? Oh, it's to <laughs> And they were, so I'm going to throw it into this, I mean, the, the next life, and based on the progress of the previous life, they were doing more things and changing, and God was just watching how everyone's different. And then after about two billion years, we've caught up. Yeah, probably all on a sort of a level playing field. And what would we have been two billion years ago? Gosh. Not much. What was around two billion years ago? Still ocean covered with water. So. Still, yeah, still the planet was covered with water. So it would have been all sea things. Still wouldn't have broken out of that fluid. I struggle to think about the length of time. But eventually some 300 million years ago from now, the Earth began to change and it expanded. And where you see the continents now is where it broke apart. And the ocean floor is all a lot thinner and a lot newer than the rest of the Earth. And they don't slide around on plates, they're fixed. There's rock. <laughs> slide about. All the plates are expanding. So we would have begun to get land and so because I, I would have thought that being a tree would have been one of the early ones but uh, I don't know. That would have given us our first break. Creatures that breathe the air. And by this time, the ones who had been behind for most of their existence were now advancing. Perhaps it has something to do with the, the amount of progress the ones who were first and were making was was becoming a thing, so for the next life they almost had to try everything they'd tried before, or... I don't know. I don't know, I'm just talking shit, am I? You know, what I felt today... The one love in me, and me being in Mother and Father God... That's thunder, by the way, I don't know if the video camera's picking it up. I felt so, so fucking lucky, so fortunate to be able to experience that, that awesomeness, the truth of what we are. And then I went into thinking, oh, am I the first person to do this? And and the egos talking and I had to get burnt up. I don't want to be first. But I want to know <laughs> that feeling again. And everybody would want to know that. And that's what you truly are. And it's truly wonderful. And we've got each other to lean on and 
and courage and love. It's all about love. As you know. And there's a lot more to learn about it. But yes, for me, the moral of this, don't forget my mother and father. I need them a while yet. Perhaps eternally. We'll, we'll see. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm not even going to say it. You know. Ciao. Bye.